We're beginning at five with breaking news. Long time Providence College men's basketball coach Ed Cooley is leaving PC after 11 years. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Montecalvo and I'm Shannon Heggie. We saw this announcement coming after Cooley's East Greenwich home hit the market this morning. Matt Paddock is standing by with reaction from fans. PC's athletic director held a news conference just a short time ago. Sports director Maury Hirsch Gordon was there and joins us now live from Providence. Maury. Yeah, Mike and Shannon, one of the first things that Athletic Director Steve Napolillo mentioned in his press conference was his gratitude and thanking Ed Cooley for his dozen years on this campus in Friartown, helping restore the greatness of this men's basketball program. But once he turned from Ed Cooley, it was all about his program going forward. Yes, Ed Cooley led the Friars to seven NCAA tournaments, as well as a few championships, one in the regular season, one in the postseason. But Steve knows that as a new athletic director, he has big shoes to fill. He was hired last winter to replace his former boss, Bob Driscoll. Official first day was this past summer, and now in his first year, he has his work cut out for him. Listen, when I took this job, I knew the, the challenges ahead, and this, this will define my career for the next three to five years. If I make the right hire, I'll be a rock star. If I don't, everybody will want me fired. So there's no, there's no ins or outs about it. That's, that's the challenge you become AD. My wife and I talked about when I took this job, when you take it. Um, but, you know, we're a special place here at Providence College. That's why I didn't take this job because I knew it was going to be sunny days every day. You know there's great days, there's tough days, but, with, you know, Great challenges come great opportunity, and that's the way I look at this. Cooley's on to the next challenge now in the nation's capital with the Georgetown Hoyas. Napolillo did tell us that Cooley and himself did speak with the team today. How did Cooley, a PC native, leave his hometown and come to this decision? I spoke to him last night. Sometimes you just have to look at things for where you're trying to go in your future. Everybody's looking at the present. And you do not sit in our shoes. You do not live the life we live. I appreciate and love and admire all the support we get and will continue to get as fellow Rhode Islanders. But at some point, you have to look at where you're trying to go for your own fulfillment that doesn't have anything to do with winning or losing. And it has nothing to do with, you know, staying home. It has to do with, hey, how are we feeling and how are we moving forward? So a number of factors leading to Cooley's decision to leave Providence and head to Georgetown. First time in Big East history that that is the case, that a coach makes an intra-conference move in the 43 years that the league has been around. But make no mistake, Cooley did not leave this job because of a bad relationship with an, with an administrator, with any faculty members, with anybody in the team. This was strictly a personal decision for him and his wife, Norris. For more on the fans and the reaction from campus, Let's bring in Matt Paddock, who joins us live. Matt? Well, Maury, you touched on a bunch of our points there, but there's no denying the impact that Coach Cooley had both on the city of Providence as well as the school here behind me. But today, students said that they were disappointed and saddened, not only that he was leaving, but that he was leaving for a Big East rival. Providence is all over Twitter, all over group messages, everyone's talking about it. For Friar fanatics, Monday's been miserable, losing their head men's basketball coach and hometown hero Ed Cooley, a man whose legacy runs deep in Rhode Island, someone that players and fans have come to love. He turned this program around. I just would have liked to see uh, a better way out, a better way to handle it. But now fans across the capital city, as well as right here on campus, left with mixed emotions. Thank you for all that you have done. However, this moment will not be forgotten. There's also frustration, anger that comes a part of it as well. Students telling 12 News that the idea of seeing Cooley twice a year, representing a new school, a new program, and a new community is a tough pill to swallow. We wish him all the best of luck, but now that he's going like right next door, we're going to see him a few times in the amp. We're going to go there. Like, leaves, leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. Sparking the Big East Conference's newest rivalry. This is all we're going to remember, you know, and I think when he comes next year, he's going to he's going to uh, expect maybe applause, maybe, you know, the fans to be excited to see him, and I, I personally don't think that's going to be the case. It just feels like he turned against us, you know, his whole thing is the us, we together, family friars, and he's been preaching that for however long he's been here, like 20 or something like that, and it feels like he kind of threw it all out the window. 
While there's a lot of disappointment coming from the campus right now, we did talk to a few students and one even telling me that it was during his tour of the college and meeting Coach Cooley that made it so he would come to Providence College and spend four years here becoming a friar. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.